Hello YouTube, how are you this morning? Right, just a quick video, I've just been uploading um, a known good capture to the Pico Waveform Library for somebody on one of the Facebook groups and uh, I just thought I'd do a quick video to show you how, how to do it so what we've got here is the Sacrificial Hyundai again um, I'll just show you what we've got how we've got it connected up, we wanted a known good cam crank so basically what I've got um, yellow and green channels you can see there on the two camshaft sensors and the red and the blue morning Simon the red and the blue are down on the crankshaft sensor down down there let's see if we can grab your picture up there where I'm connected You see, we're just we're just down on the camshaft sensor down there. Morning, Tim. <laughs> so, setting the scope up. We'll show you that quickly. Just bear with me one second, folks. Who's that? Morning, Sean. Morning, Janice. Morning, Jan. So let's get the camera set up in the van, then we can see. We'll go on to the go on to the big screen. You can see there I've got the G scan on. So let's just get get rid of that. Power that off, we don't need that. Right, so first of all we start the Pico software. So we've got Pico Automotive there, and if you go up into the top left hand corner where it says File, Waveform Library Browser, for this to access the, the Waveform Library you've got to have your Pico Scope connected. So Waveform Library Browser, I'm already logged in, if you've seen the top right there, um, already logged in with your username and password you go up onto picoauto.com and set that up so if we just go to my waveforms I've already loaded this up it takes a little bit of time my waveforms thank you so these are all uploaded by me doc so this is um, these are the ones that I've actually put up on the library anybody that's not doing this should be really if you've got if you if you're saving and you're connected to the internet you should save and share really so this is the one i've done today and if you want to look at that what i can do is i can open it so that'll actually open the waveform for me And then what we have to do is just minimise the library. And there's the waveform that I've uploaded. So we just go back to... So basically what I've done there, I've done a um, 500, millisecond, 500 millisecond capture. And then all we... And what I've actually done is I've used the... Use the scaling at the bottom to make the cam and the, uh, the two crankshaft signals smaller so they can all fit on one page. And then we can just zoom in however we want there and have a have a look and do the reference. So that's one I've prepared earlier. But if I wanted to if I wanted to save that, um, basically all I do is go to file save. Yeah, put all the details in. It's important that you label the channels. Morning, Scott. Morning, Mukhtar. Label all the all the channels with whatever you want, and then hit save and share, which is here at the bottom. So it'll automatically save it to your computer. And 
and also share it to the waveform library. It really is that simple. Afternoon, David. Is it afternoon now or is it morning? I don't know. Oh. That's it, that's better. So yeah, so that's what, we've, that's what we've been doing this morning. We've been doing waveforms. We've been doing waveforms, wires and wiggly lines. So, I hope you all had a brilliant Christmas. We've had a fantastic one. We've got the family coming round now shortly, so we'll be having a bit of a Boxing Day celebration. <laughs> a few more, a few more beers, I think, and I'm, I'm going to try my camembert. I've never had camembert in my life, so we're having camembert and chorizo later on today. It'll be pretty awesome. Anyway, <laughs> it's afternoon up in the north. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It must be after lunch now, then, is it? Uh, yeah. So we're going, uh, we're going to have a, an afternoon of eating and drinking. Uh, no, I've got no preference, Paul, to be honest. Um, I use the Pico, I use the Taipei scope as well. Um, the Taipei along with the 80s software is really good. It's just that the guy that was um, after the waveform um, was actually using a Pico. So the easiest way to share that waveform was to upload it to the library so he could access it. Um, but I use the Taipei, I use the AVL scope, I use the Snap-on scopes. Uh, I use the Bosch scope. I've I've no real preference. Me, me type I, I tend to keep that for the stuff that I need really really good clean signals on. It's a really high quality differential scope. Um, Pico. This is the the old 4000 series. I got this after I raffled off me 4425. A lot less noise on it. Um, and really the Pico's me me sacrificial scope. But also that ties in really really well with. The James Dillon's diagnostic assistance software. So if I, you know, if I, if I plug that in, basically, um, that you know that uses Pico. It meshes nicely with Pico. Um, so we've got the Pico with the diagnostic assistance software, which is really must have for any diag tech. And then we've got the Taipei with the 80s software, which is for me, it's a must have for when I want really, really clean, accurate waveforms and stuff like that. My snap-on is my general day-to-day -day one when I'm just looking for a signal. If I'm looking for pass or fail, is there a signal or not a signal? Is it roughly in the right area? And then the Bosch one is obviously when I'm using my Bosch scanner. Just another quick note while we're on. Any, any of you guys that are um, trying to join our Facebook group, when you apply, when you when you first hit the button to join group, if you actually when you when you press that join button, it will then come up with a list of questions for you um, that you need to answer. It's just like, why do you want to join the group? Um, what's your role within the motor trade? It doesn't matter if you're not in the trade, but if you're not in the trade, just put I'm not in the trade. I'm a hobbyist. Yeah, definitely, definitely getting out of the house. Um, and are you a subscriber to my YouTube channel? Now, membership of the group, it mu it's mandatory that you're a subscriber to the YouTube channel because the group is for my YouTube subscribers. So make sure when you, when you first request to join, just ask, you know, just answer the questions that are asked and then you'll be, you'll be approved automatically. It just keeps the spam out and the keyboard warriors out because it's definitely a troll-free zone, our group really really positive so face uh, on facebook simply diagnostics youtube is the group to apply to and then uh, coming this year we're going to have a pay to access group um, that will be closed to the public and uh, that's going to be awesome as well so yeah so all right i'm going to get get all this put away now and prepped get prep ready for my boxing day camembert so hope you have a, all have an awesome boxing day and we'll see you next week up in Grimsby, 20, 29th, I'm in Grimsby. Welcome, Jan. Yeah, 29th, I'm in Grimsby. We're doing a live um, a live broadcast um, from Grimsby with Skoda Yoda. 
make sure if you're not already subscribed to Scotty Older, um, just go onto his channel. Um, I think it's Carlton8571. Just search Scotty Older, it'll come up. Subscribe and hit the bell for notifications because we're going to do a series of live videos from Steve's place. Right, have a good one. I'm off. Catch you later. Thanks for watching.